Rock Bottom Comics here in downtown Columbia has been a fixture for over 40 years. The recent success of comic book movies has helped bring in a new generation to the store. We get a lot of people that come in here and say that they've never read a comic, but they want to because of the movie. And, uh, when the movies are coming out, sometimes the, the comics will kind of coincide with the movies, and that drives up a lot of excitement in general, and people come in and buy more. and It, it just gets people excited about it, and it helps. However, not all the movies have found favor with the managers of Rock Bottom. Some have set themselves apart in both excitement and quality. Well, if I was in charge of DC, I'd resign. Um, their, their movie universe is, is a wreck. They need, they need some extraordinary talent, top to bottom. Um, honestly, and, 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 if, and if I was, you know, involved in the Marvel stuff, that's nearly, that, that is its own machine now. Um, they, they, they figured it out. Of course, Cagle is no unbiased reader. A self-proclaimed Marvel zombie, he proudly shares his love of Iron Man with anyone who asks. When it comes to business, though, Cagle is all about movie success, no matter the universe. I'm concerned, for obvious reasons, about the overall health of the industry. And as long as we keep getting these big budget movies that are making a ton of money, I don't really care who does it, because it's it's it it, it indicates a level of health for the comic book industry. Will Roth and Cable can expect their success to continue as the Avengers sequel comes out in May of this year. For J Twenty One Fifty, I'm Chris Joseph.